Welcome to How to Solve YouTube channel, here I gonna show you to Apple limits to phone, FaceTime, message and airdrop when communication limits are enabled. Enable this on screen time is enabled or during downtime as well. Open the settings app on iPhone and the first check your family members are added in family sharing. Tap on profile name and scroll to family sharing. Here I added my two child's Apple ID. Now it's easy to use with screen time on kids mobile. Just like another purchasing service. Apple Music and now Screen Time. Tap on Screen Time to set up from here as well. But I can under the settings Screen Time, go back and scroll to Screen Time, tap on it and scroll to your family. Now tap on your kid's name to set up family sharing for communication line, the third option is communication limit. Here you can manage kids contacts like saved or unknown. Now next to during allowed screen time you can limit apply to phone, FaceTime, messages, and airdrop. Allowed communications options are everyone and contacts only. Everyone option limits communications to people in your contacts during allowed screen time and contacts only in the same way. Now next option is group communication, allow instructions and groups toggle, this allow people to be added to group conversations when one of your contacts or family member is in the group. Now the next setting for communication limit is what type of contacts you applied restrictions during downtime. Select the options from two. One is everyone and second is specific contracts only. The second option you should add new contact one by one from a phone app or add the new contact for a kid. And the last setting is to manage your kids contacts that saved in iCloud. Manage cloud contact from your mobile under the screen time using this setting. To do enable toggle to wait for sending after the pending status. Go back and check downtime time option. All the communication rules will apply automatically if downtime is enabled otherwise screen time rules will apply. Here is this, go back and scroll to family under the screen time, repeat the same process if you wish to set communication limits for another kid.